To set up the model, first click on Model Wizard. Then click 2D. Fluid Flow. Fluid Structure Interaction. Then Fluid Solid Interaction Fixed Geometry. Then click on Add. This will give you the Laminar Flow, Solid Mechanics, and Fluid Structure Interaction. Then click Study. We are going to be using a stationary model that is replicating steady state flow. So click stationary, then click done. Click import. Browse and find the 2D DXF file that you want to import. I created this file in SOLIDWORKS. Then click import. Now we have our geometry. We need to change the units from meter to millimeter. So go to geometry. Under Unit Length, change it to Millimeter. Now click on Laminar Flow and uncheck the artery walls. We only want our fluid to be in blue. Here you can set the fluid temperature and pressure. You can also set the fluid compressibility. Then click on Fluid Properties and you can change the density and the dynamic viscosity to User Defined and input the values you would like. If you click on wall, you can see the boundaries highlighted on the geometry in blue. We need to add an inlet and outlet for the flow. Go up to the Physics tab, then click on Boundaries and select Inlet. Then click on your inlet in the geometry. Go back to the boundaries and select Outlet. Then click on your outlets in the geometry. Now when you click on your wall, inlet or outlet, you can see the boundary highlighted in blue. Under Inlet, you could input the inflow velocity of the fluid. Now click on Solid Mechanics and uncheck the fluid in the middle. Here, we only want the artery walls highlighted in blue. Click on Linear Elastic Material, change the values to User Defined, and input the values you would like. Then go to the Physics tab, Select Boundaries and click on Fix Constraint. We are going to make these end sections of the artery walls fixed so that they can't be deformed in the X or Y direction. Then click on the Mesh tab on the right and click on the Mesh tab at the top as well. If you go to Element Size, you could control whether you want a fine mesh, a coarse mesh, or a normal mesh. Once you make your selection, Click on Build Mesh at the top. If you right click on the mesh, you can get the mesh statistics like number of elements. When you are ready to run the model, click on the Study tab at the top and click Compute. In the Results section on the right, you can see the velocity magnitude, the pressure contours, and the deformation. If you click on the down arrow here in Stress and click on the down arrow next to Surface, you find the Deformation section. When you click on that, you can change the scale of deformation. For example, a scale of 1 is actual deformation that you would see in real life. Sometimes it makes sense to scale up the deformation when trying to visualize how stresses are acting on the solid. Good luck.